It's called Lights at Surfer's Point. You hurry down from Ojai, 16 miles from your front door, to the ocean. You hurry because it's after 5 on February 2nd and the sun is almost down. So that when you walk out of Subway with your turkey on wheat, the last light of the sun turns the houses on the hill above Ventura pink. And you arrive at Surfer's Point in time to see the luminous silver light washing over everything while surfers rest final waves coming in so small but nicely. And the algae on the point makes the rocks glimmer in the darkening light like some fantastic decoration. At the age of 50, I started surfing. And I'd never spent a lot of time in Ventura before that, but then I spent a lot of time here. I love Ventura. I love the cold fog that hugs the coast while the sun hits the houses on the hills. I love the wind that blows so hard that my surfboard acts like a sail when I carry it. I love the wind on the ocean blowing huge spumes of spray off the waves. I love the cold water, so cold that sometimes my hands are too numb to unlock my car after I leave the water. I love the surf culture. The people who live for the beach discuss the waves of today, yesterday, and best of all, of years ago, who congregate at the beach, watch the waves, talk about them, sit all day if necessary, or plunge madly into the swells. I love the greasy hot dogs I can buy at the point on Sundays to eat while I sit on the concrete wall and watch the waves. I love the focus the always looking out, the never-ending search of the horizon for that telltale hump of swell, the clear day's view of Anacapa, Santa Cruz Islands spread out, seemingly so close, punctuated by offshore oil rigs, are the days when the sky and water are the same color, gray, and the fog so thick you can't see the pier. I love sitting in the water while pelicans soar by, seals pop up, and dolphins glide, sometimes so close I can hear them breathe. I love Ventura.